Oh yeah. Ugh. Man, it's been a while. <laughs> hey guys, how are you doing? Groovy Fox here, and we're coming at you live from the Groovy Lair in the heart of the Groovy Nation. That's right, everybody. I know it's been a little while since we dropped a video, but what can I say? I had to get a side gig working a part-time job for uh, slinging an unlicensed nuclear accelerator for the county, if you know what I mean. Let's just set this bad boy over here. Ooh. Good thing about it, it might not be licensed or regulated, but at least I don't have to shave off any of my back hair anymore. <laughs> How's everybody doing? I think we've got a special treat today. That's right, everybody. I think that they just dropped the first trailer for Ghostbusters Afterlife, written by Gil Keenan and Jason Reitman, and also Dan Aykroyd. This movie is the 100% sequel to... Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2, but not Ghostbusters 2016, because we're just going to avoid that. We don't want to have to deal with that situation. Happy thoughts! <laughs> but without further ado, let's dive right into this trailer reaction, shall we? And go! What are you doing All right. in Somerville anyway? Honestly, An old mining shaft? Man, saying, that kid is ugly. Evicted. This is creepy old farmhouse our grandfather left us in the middle of nowhere. Oof. Why'd you bring me up here? Entertainment value? Because <laughs> <laughs> you're goofy to look at. What is that? I don't know. Your mom, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that green Somehow, stuff. That's looking a little bit too much like answer the call. Plate. That has no fault lines. No hey, it's Paul Rudd. No loud music, even. Is shaking on a daily basis. Under the dining table now. There's a stack hey, of books. Did you see that? Table? I found this in my living room. Whoa, killer Interesting. replica. A replica of what? A replica of what? A ghost trap? There hasn't been a ghost sighting in 30 years. Oh we shit. In the 80s. Is that Slimer? Dead. Your dad never mentioned it? <laughs> it's like The Walking it's Dead. It's just my mom. My grandfather died. My mom says Spores, just molds, and fungus. Oh yeah. yeah. Who are you? Of course, they're Egon's grandkids. This July. Call it fate. Call it fate. Ooh. Call it luck. Call it karma. Call it karma. I believe that everything happens for a reason. Is that a terror dog? Oh yeah. A gunner seat? Property damage ensues. Ghostbusters Afterlife. <laughs> July 2nd. Well, we know what we're going to be doing on July 2nd, don't we? <laughs> I don't know. I am have mixed up feelings about it. Let's loosen up a little bit here and get a little breathing room going on. Hey, gotta represent the brand, right? <laughs> anyway, that looks really good. Some minor issues though. I love Jason Reitman's movies. I'm actually a big fan of Thank You For Smoking, Juno, um, also Young Adult I thought was really good as well. I love Pat Naswalt in that movie, but I don't know, man. I'm not really getting strong comedy vibes from this. Definitely getting like a J.J. Abrams kind of vibe to it. Especially like in the beginning of the first Star Trek where you see Captain Kirk and then he steals the car and is actually driving it like down the cornfield and then up to the edge of the cliff. 
and then just lets it fly over. That's the kind of vibe that I'm getting from this. Um, that could be a good thing. It could be a bad thing. Gil Keenan actually is one of the screenwriters on this. He worked on City of Ember, which I didn't see. Poltergeist and Monster House. Now, I didn't see City of Ember. And I really liked Monster House. But Poltergeist was kind of hit or miss. It was one of those kind of remakes that didn't need to be remade. You know what I mean? The remake didn't do enough different to really establish itself. It only had a couple of scenes in it that I really, really liked. Other than that, though... You know, it seemed like a lot of people in that movie were phoning their performances in. But this time around, this movie actually looks like it could be stacking up to be pretty good. Now, this is obviously the first trailer that we're seeing. I mean, it recently only confirmed the subtitle for the film in Afterlife. Those are definitely Egon's grandkids. I liked how when you actually saw inside the farmhouse, you could actually see the stacks of books because no human being would stack books like that. You've got Egon's collection of spores, molds, and fungus. You've got everybody's favorite man child paul rudd in there kind of standing in for the adult fans obviously because hey man who better to stand in for the fans and give the movie back to the fans like jason reitman said than get somebody that everybody's used just agrees that he's universally loved like paul rudd i know some people are going to say that there's going to be stranger things vibes from this i wasn't really getting that i was feeling a little bit more of a goosebumps vibe to it but again, that's probably just because of the kids, the special effects, the fact that they were both made by Sony, right? But yeah, I was definitely getting a Goosebumps vibe out of this, more so than anything else. Not scary stories to tell in the dark, not Stranger Things, definitely Goosebumps. I want to see more of the special effects as well. I want to see more from this movie. I'm going to be digesting pretty much every piece of information about this movie leading up to its release that I can. July 2nd, it's Got about six, seven, seven or eight months at this point. So who knows, man? Maybe it's going to shape up to be really, really good. We also haven't seen anything of the original cast members yet. But yeah, I'm already seeing that this movie's definitely a lot better off than the 2016 remake, reboot, whatever we're going to call it. Let's just ignore that that movie happened. Because this movie actually has connections to the original Ghostbusters films as opposed to just kind of standing on the back of the brand and trying to say that you're something completely new and completely different you wouldn't obviously you're not you're just there to cash in on the nostalgia <laughs> but here's hoping that this film actually turns out to be really good if not well we'll always have the originals to enjoy because you can't take that away from us <laughs> unless they do with some sort of special edition where they put scenes and change the special effects and I'm not going to put it past them other than that, though, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit like on this. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch so you can have access to more live groovy content. And I know it's been a little while since we dropped a video, but don't you worry, groovy ghouls and ghosts. We're going to be back to making content on a much more regular basis. Hey, and if I get enough likes on this video, who knows? Maybe I'll do all of my Ghostbusters Afterlife videos while wearing my company uniform. <laughs> Other than that, though, remember, guys, stay safe, stay classy, and as always, you can't kill the groove because the groove is in the soul. Take it easy, people. I'll see you next time.